If you've been following my uh, YouTube channels or emails or uh, blogs, uh, you might have seen a video where we went to meet Shifu with one of my students who was going to start the second advanced program. And in that occasion, I already mentioned that uh, I did my first chair mission, which was an interesting thing to do. But in this video, I would like to go a bit deeper into it so I can explain actually what it is and what's behind it. Uh, we don't see it. Before I continue, I would like to invite you to suggest any kind of topic or comment below if there is uh, something you would like me to touch. Without further talking, let's go actually into this uh, chia mission topic. Well, I actually started to learn the fifth advanced program, which basically means there is only one program left to finish the old Nechigong path. And this program is about uh, the unification of the three Dantians, the lower Dantian, the middle Dantian and the higher Dantian. And actually learning uh, the technique which is composed of different aspects uh, to the Chia mission. Sometimes people think that the Chia mission is uh, just a technique that we learn. It's uh, just a, a magic um, exercise that we do. But in reality, it's uh, the peak of a uh, great inner transformation that takes place uh, through the previous programs and actually finds expression through the Chia mission why, when we learn actually how to do it. But um, what we don't see, and uh, I know that for sure it's uh, an attractive thing to see this kind of Chia mission under form of electricity or other videos you have seen of my teachers, it's a uh, inner transformation that takes place. So the, um, the growth in terms of vital energy and, uh, and the functioning of the body that uh, change uh, completely. In fact, uh, although it might be an attractive thing to see, uh, of course it's a proof that the Nechion system actually works. So we're not just talking about theory. <laughs> actually, we are the opposite. We're super practical in the path and the exercises are super down to earth. Um, although we um, are attracted at the beginning uh, from it, because for sure it represents a practical um, manifestation of uh, the Nechi Gong possibilities, well, there are much greater possibilities connected to, um, to the path, actually. Um, some people at the beginning might start the path because they are attracted by the possibility of increasing energy to a high degree and do chi emissions. But uh, the hope is that on the way we develop a deeper understanding of actually of the possibility connected with vital energy. Because uh, Nei Qigong is not about uh, uh, achieving some kind of superpowers and going around with this kind of abilities. That would be actually a, a very silly thing to do in one way because uh, when we do a chi emission we are throwing out our vital energy. There are different forms of chi emissions. Um, I don't want to go too much into the details, but let's say we can divide them uh, uh, into three uh, big families. Um, related of course uh, also to the different Dantians, uh, which uh, in reality um, we are relating them to different densities and aspects of the vital energy. The vital energy is one, but uh, it manifests itself in different forms. In the human body, uh, we identify these three main energy centers, each of them related to a particular functioning of the human being. The lower Dantian, uh, let's say, to the physical aspect, the middle Dantian uh, to the emotional aspect, and the uh, higher Dantian to the thinking, to the mind. And uh, we can say that the lower Dantian relates to the action, middle Dantian to the feeling and uh, the higher Dantian to the thinking. And actually, uh, on the contrary what many people might think at the beginning when they see the Nei Qi Gong videos, the goal is not just to emit Qi. Of course, this is a practical uh, peak of our uh, evolution in the path, which is, will be a natural consequence. But the goal is uh, acting uh, uh, as human being in our totality, so unifying these three centers, uh, empowering them, of course, balancing them and grow them uh, bigger and bigger so that uh, we can extend our human possibilities, functioning better in life and exploring life uh, in a more interesting way, not just in the scene, but we can actually go into the unseen. 
And uh, mentioning this word, actually, I think that uh, the vital energy aspect for me personally, it's more connected to the unseen aspect of the practice. Although I performed my first chair mission, which was an interesting thing to do. Uh, Shifu helped me on this, uh, he supported me. Um, the video is not available yet because usually only students who finish the old path, they have this possibility of sharing the videos. But I have a private video just for me. Uh, but while I was doing the mission with Tanasis, the students who came with me to meet my teacher, uh, I said, okay, and so what? Uh, you see, at the beginning, uh, um, it might be very interesting to see these uh, uh, manifestations, but then we got used to it. Also because as practitioner inside yourself, uh, the level of energy is building up to a certain degree that even uh, a Chia mission is not really something uh, surprising. But I said that uh, for me, the unseen aspect actually of Nechi Gong is even more important because uh, uh, the possibility of unifying ourselves with the field of life and uh, vital energy which is all around us and inside us, if it is an inside and outside, uh, it is actually a great, great tool that we can have if we're really uh, interested in um, going beyond uh, let's call it ego, the human uh, identification, uh, the limited possibilities that we have as human beings, because we can really merge energetically with this field uh, and call it whatever you want to call it, God, the infinite, whatever, it doesn't make any uh, difference or any sense at the same time, because those are just words. Uh, so for me, coming from, uh, let's say, a Buddhist background or a seeker background, where I was uh, seeking this... Uh, um, beyond in many different forms and attempts uh, even even some of them quite childish going from reading mystical books uh, to exploring drugs uh, extensively when i was young uh, i'm still super young but uh, uh, let's say when i was in my 20s um, to trying out ayahuasca and peyote and, and becoming a buddhist following a teacher and all these kind of things Although in the Buddhist uh, practices there were some interesting uh, investigation about the nature of the mind, uh, we are um, in a deeper level. With the Qigong I found a practical tool that actually helped me uh, to move from the theory to the actual practice and make certain experiences possible and available on a daily basis. Um, so that, that is for me the higher possibility we don't see with the Nietzsche Gong videos that of course they are attractive, they are, can be important to prove that actually we teach something that really works. But there is something more. And while I was performing this uh, Chia mission with Tanazis at the same time, <laughs> part of me was saying, okay, and then well, can be a useful tool uh, to help a student uh, unlock the meridians, can be a useful tool to help uh, somebody to recover from a, from a problem, health problem, uh, can be a useful tool to in, um, facilitate the energy growth of a, a student of various kind. But um, as I said before, and then I move to another <laughs> actually subject, we have different kinds of uh, chi manifestations. So they, some of them can be more dense, uh, some of them can be um, um, more refined, uh, that even transcend the limitation of, the, uh, of distance and time. And in the case of uh, uh, Fashen, for instance, which is related to uh, the higher uh, Dantian and to a less uh, um, dense manifestation of the energy. And we have Fa Chi, which is, uh, let's say, related to the middle Dantian uh, and, and Fa Lin, if I remember correctly uh, the terminology, which I'm not great. I'm uh, really a practical guy, and for me, uh, the Chinese terms uh, don't have much value as long as you know uh, what you're talking about. So I wanted to make this video um, not to dismiss the importance of the Chia mission because uh, um, somehow um, it can be an interesting thing uh, to experience, it can be the culmination uh, uh, of, uh, of a path, but uh, the, what I want to say is that there is something much more that uh, really doesn't happen when we get to the point of emitting Chi. There is actually um, a transformation process that can that happens on the way, on the journey, as we say sometimes. And actually, for me, the uh, the greatest transformation happened with the basic programs. So when I 
I was doing the Linchi practice, which uh, uh, took me to the destination of uh, stopping my uh, seeker mode and, and search about something more, a new experience, a new teaching, a new kind of understanding of uh, this spiritual topic. So, uh, what I want to say is that the Nichigong is uh, literally uh, a spiritual tool that we can use, paired together with some kind of will and understanding of actually of the possibility connected with it. Because growing vital energy can be an amazing possibility to take the human potential to a very high degree. But it has to be paired with some kind of, uh, I don't want to say wisdom, but some kind of pure um, orientation towards the practice. Because uh, Nature Kong works, it's uh, an amplifier. We do the exercises, we grow. Uh, the level of vital energy. But uh, if we have, and I hope uh, that if you watch this video you do, the kind of um, um, goal, so to speak, even though it is wrong to say goal, um, towards our um, human improvement, spiritual development, pairing Ne Qigong together with, uh, uh, with some kind of uh, serious investigation of ourselves, uh, it's an amazing experience to go beyond. Of course, we cannot put this into a video, into words, uh, even uh, talking together. There's no point of talking about those stuff. Uh, certain things are uh, personal experiences because when we talk with others, uh, we cannot share experiences. We can just use words, uh, but uh, people understand according to their experiences, their thoughts. So, we unfortunately, experiences cannot be shared. Uh, so the only way to do this is to practice and deal in gently and find out for ourselves. And then Qigong is an amazing tool to do that because it's really down to earth and it is done with a good attitude. When you study with me online, for instance, at the beginning, uh, we have a good connection together. We're connected on WhatsApp, email, uh, always available when it is needed. So uh, I feel that sometimes uh, when we go into this kind of Neigong systems, um, we might uh, get a wrong turn, especially if we are attracted by this kind of superpowers. What I'm trying to say is that these kind of uh, external manifestations, they are just the pick up of the iceberg of a greater transformation and greater human possibilities that we don't see. Uh, and for me, it is the most un important thing that we can do as human beings. I hope that you enjoyed this uh, little video. Um, not that I dismiss the, the Chia missions, um, but, you know, it's just uh, one little thing that uh, will be a natural consequence of the Nei Qigong practice if uh, we do it correctly.